some people in Singapore actually didn't need to pay GST at all. And in fact, uh, some even earn money from GST. Eh. What's to the end uh, to know how to be a billionaire of GST? Here's everything you need to know about the GST voucher. I'll simplify and summarize for you. Don't assist if you don't understand my answers, you idiot. So, so, uh, so, before anything, uh, you need to know what GST is. Uh, Cause you all hate it, uh, but like what a wise man once said, uh, you hate what you don't understand. So maybe after understanding what GST is, uh, you might hate it even more. We all know GST stands for goods and service tax. And it's the extra 8% we have to pay for any purchase. Or 9% uh, if you're watching this in 2024. But how much do you know about this tax? Eh? It's basically a tax uh, imposed on purchase of goods or services. Just think of it this way. Uh, if two cats uh, just sit side by side and do nothing, uh, the government won't collect a single cent. But if they pass goods and services between each other, uh, then Money. tax will be imposed Money. on them. Uh. But here's one thing you probably didn't think of. Usually the higher income people uh, will have more transactions, so they'll pay more taxes. While the lower income people uh, have fewer transactions. I give you an example based on something that's so familiar. Uh, you might have just done it earlier today. Uh, when a rich fellow buys Taipan, uh, he'll have fish, egg, chicken and veggie, costing $6, which will cost 42 cents of GST. While a poor person uh, will buy egg and veggie uh, at $2.50, which will cost 80 cents of GST. Both people buy their lunch, but the taxes paid uh, are different. So technically speaking, uh, richer people pay more GST. And this is important to understand the next point, so just remember this. Uh. But this example uh, is a little wrong, uh, of course, yeah, la, you're basing on 7% GST. No, la, that's based on a 7% GST example. Uh. Cost always increasing. Ma. Eh, then what is wrong? Eh? Look at the type of you bodo. Yeah, see me say no cut up. So here's the thing, uh, here's the thing. Nowadays, uh, with the other package and whatever package that Tai Shen Ye Lawrence Wong is announcing, uh, we might be confused over what all those free money are for. But here's a simple explanation. Uh, the Asakara package, uh, the money that you'll be getting in December, uh, is to fight against rising cost of living and rising GST. Remember, it's aimed to help to offset the rise, not the principal. Just like the cost of living. Uh, if you spend $2,500 a month, uh, but are just getting an additional $800 this December, uh, that $800 can replace or $2,500 per month for 12 months, man. Cannot, right? Yeah, so it's not to replace or daily expenses. Cause uh, Lawrence Wong uh, is your finance minister, eh, not your father. Eh. But here's the thing, uh, here's the thing. There's actually something to kind of replace the GST you pay completely. Kind of only, uh, and also not completely. Uh. And also, uh, it's only for the low-income people. It's a GST voucher scheme, which you will always get cold hard cash in August each year. You see, uh, it's been in place since 2012, and there's always been a payout every year. Let's use the type of example again. Uh. A rich guy uh, will pay 42 cent GST uh, for his lunch, while a poor guy uh, will pay 18 cent GST for his lunch. The whole idea of the GST GST voucher scheme uh, is to give the poor guy 18 cents so he won't need to pay GST at all. While the rich guy uh, still need to pay the full GST since rich people uh, don't get anything from the GST voucher scheme. Through the GST voucher scheme, lower income people uh, will receive cash and rebates that are supposed to totally offset the GST that they pay, uh, while the higher income people uh, won't receive a single cent. But of course, it's hard to determine how much GST a low income individual pays, so it's based solely uh, on aggregation. Uh. In other words, uh, if you are a low income person uh, who orders fish at type, uh, then too bad uh, the GST voucher scheme won't help you fully. But why the heck do you order fish when you're this is just a system, uh. so whether it works or not uh, depends on many factors. But people will still be angry one. Uh. Just read the comments of this video uh, and then you will know. Although uh, most of them uh, might not have watched this full video because uh, they don't like the system or don't completely understand it. Let's play a game. Uh. All the comments in this video uh, must start with blue cats are cute. Then you start a comment. Let's see how many people uh, didn't watch this video before getting triggered. <laughs> So, why do I say some people earn from GST? Eh? If you really really spend so little uh, and get the GST voucher cash a lot, uh, then you can uh, theoretically uh, earn ma. For example, uh, if you get $700 GST vouchers uh, or just spend $500 on GST this year, uh, then you earn $200. Eh. And best of all, uh, if you buy things from those shops uh, that absorb GST for you, uh, you earn more and can potentially uh, be a millionaire from GST buying lots and lots and lots of things. Yeah. This uh, is what you call girl man. Bingo. In the meantime, uh, if you think you have learned something, uh, consider subscribing uh, and also watch this video uh, to be smarter, uh, you bingo.